three, uh, bright colored palettes type, you know, any think a cartoon on the screen and you play the characters. But if you've not played Mario, then you need help. You can you can cut that if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of the Critical Arcade Podcast. I am your co-host, Nick. And I'm Dave. Yes, Dave. Hello. My co-host. My co-host. So, my, the other co-host, Dave. I don't know how to say it yet. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we, we are co-hosts on this, the Critical yep. Arcade Podcast. Uh, a podcast where we talk about and review video games from any year, any generation. Any um, generation, any platform. Purely yeah, exactly. just because we really love the video oh, yeah. gaming hobby yeah Truly. 100%. yeah it's 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 a part when the world every all the world is in chaos it's it's gaming's games we go to for our comfort don't tell our wives though no no <laughs> no no no, <laughs> no do, please please um the escapism that video games provide truly none other none other this week we are talking about um our first nintendo game our first mario game um mm. it's just a, a party game most people have forgotten about on the wii 100 percent. but we are talking about mario sports mix yeah mario sports mix released in 2011 and i didn't know this but uh released by square enix which what yeah square enix i was blown away like final fantasy square enix or or, or mass um Juice X or whatever you follow. No way! I was shocked by that. I was like, whoa. Wow. Okay. That got me excited. A big uh, Final Fantasy fanboy that I am. That's cool. So, yeah, I, I didn't know that. And it, it does come apparent later on in the in the games, which I wonder if you noticed or not. We'll see. <laughs> so I enjoyed Mario Sports Mix quite a lot. This is just This was just one of those regular Mario Sports party games yeah like just like the wii sports and all yeah. the other the party uh, group mario games. tennis mario yeah, golf golf yeah no you, you, you know what you're getting into when you put mario and then any sport yeah. anything to it it's that it's all but the same they thing. added four sports in this yes, one basketball volleyball dodgeball and hockey yeah hence the hence the name sports mix yes just, just in case you didn't get confused <laughs> it's not just a single sport. It's not a trio. It's a mix. It's a nice big bowl. It's a mama's a ragu of sports mix. You got to You got to You got to love the uh the 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 concept. Of to- um, what's it? To Mushroom Kingdom or whatever. The, 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 the premise is, a bunch of crystals fall from the sky into Peach's garden, and then they decide to hold a tournament because they represent each sport. That's it. They don't care about asteroids falling into their gardens they don't care about the repercussions of asteroids hitting their garden they just think wait, wait a minute what are you talking about that's the premise of the game that's the premise of the game yeah, where did you they, get this they fall from the stars the what crystal- falls from the stars crystals are uh, representing each sport oh, wait a minute was this part of the game yeah to my knowledge i might I, I'll, I'll give you i wikied it oh oh you did okay so there wasn't a cutscene that i missed I, I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I also skipped them when I was, when I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wiki Because I'm thinking those. now, you're, talk, you're talking about crystals falling in Peach's <laughs> garden and they're, they're holding a tournament. What? <laughs> like, what, what are you on about? <laughs> I didn't I've, I've see finally this in cracked. the game. <laughs> I've finally just lost it. No, Dave. No, Dave Mario's Dave, sitting next to me right now. <laughs> Dave, don't follow the light. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, that's that, that's at least that's what I believe happened, or maybe it was all in my head. No, uh, surely not. So you're telling me there is some sort of narrative in this. But game. that's it. That is it. Not much else. Like there is no. They sound these things. Obviously, it's quite driven dreary in in Mushroom Kingdom. There's nothing to do. So they thought, let's make a tournament about these strange sports that came from space. You know, like you do. That's a normal normal well if you think what else they have to deal with this does actually sound like a lot of fun <laughs> bowser's not messing them around again no he's joining yeah exactly he's there for he the wants party. some dodgeball action exactly because i thought there was absolutely no narrative well, in this it, game fu- at it all fundamentally is that is it that that to me is still no narrative no it's, okay no yeah, narrative is no narrative calling that it is, now not applicable yeah that's just uh, just a slight reason to get the gang together 
This is a this is a pure Mario uh, uh, party game, like your Mario parties, your other sports games. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna judge it as such. Yeah, correct. So this came out in 2011, which is about 10, 11 years ago. Yeah. And regarding video games, that's not that long ago. No, I still say that was Bat- modern. Yeah. That was, yeah, this is after Batman Arkham Asylum. No, exactly. Yeah, this 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 would be the modern uh, era of gaming, in my opinion. Yes, you know, even if it is a ten or so years ago. Yeah, I think anything of the HD era, I would consider modern. Yeah, exactly. So we can hold it to that same standard that we're kind of used to now—the good graphics and yes. the good sound yes. and voice acting. Yeah. Here we go. The visuals, I'd say, the visuals for Mario Sports Mix, I found quite nice actually. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a Mario game like what in the past just 10, it. 15 years. You're still always going to have that quirky, bright, uh, fun visuals. You can't go wrong. What do you think? Yes, yes, exactly as you said. Uh, uh, the visuals for Mar- Mario games. I think ever since Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine, I think, is when they started doing the proper 3D uh, uh, coloured and shaded type things. And yeah, you th- they, they do it well. They've never not done it well. And this is a good example of them doing that again. Exactly. The colours are bright, um, varied. All the colour palettes are nice to look at. Uh, all the characters are the same. Yeah, all the, the special abilities all pop and, and look exactly. fun and good. You know, but no. It's not a bad thing. No, exactly. Yeah, they, they know they, they know what they're doing, especially like I did, like I said, Square Enix behind it with their all their crystal dynamic engines and all the other jazz. You know they, you know they can't really go wrong. But like I said, any Mario game nowadays, you can always count on the visuals always being pretty top notch. What I liked about uh, this game is for each sport there are nine different locations you could play at. And that I've, I found that quite nice. So each volley- volleyball game won't be the same as the previous one because you, ju- you can just play at a different place. Yeah, not, not generic court A and generic court B or something like that. No, no, cause they, no, no, they do. They, they did have lots of variety in either beachfront or uh, uh, in a court. Yeah, no, no, it was. Like I said, you, you, you always have a good time visually with any Mario game. They did have generic court air and generic. They did, they did, they did, they did. But there's nothing wrong with putting some some mediocre to make the more exotic ones pop a little bit more. I think the reason the visuals work so well is Nintendo found a uh, an excellent place where they uh, these games look good for the largest audience, the largest target market. Available. Yes, yes. No, I understand. Yeah, I agree. It's it's that that huge that's market where it's it's kid, preteen, teen, adolescent, and adult. Yeah. And it ticks all those boxes. Yeah. It does. And it looks good for parents because they like that their kids are playing this and not the GTAs. <laughs> no, no, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's very, it's very safe. Which is like, like you said, as a parent, it's actually quite relaxing and, 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 you know, it gives you a bit of a breather so you don't have to worry that they're playing, like you say, GTA and Manhunt and all the other things. You know that with a Mario game, you've got safety there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, there's not a lot to be said about the visuals. If you've played a Mario game, Mario game, you know what you're in for. You know what the visuals are going to look like. Speaking of uh, uh, parts of Mario games that have been used for two decades, the audio, I'm pretty sure, have just been cut from other Mario games and just put into this game. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, yeah, again, it's one of those things where... You know, I often think, would you be disappointed if they didn't do that? You know, if they tried something new or something different? Because one of the charms of a Mario game is its soundtrack. You know, da 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 da. da. Everybody knows it's a it's a recognizable song or, or theme much. songs and stuff like that. And so I understand that they kind of have to put it in all their their games so they can, they they tick all the demographics. But yes. And they are fun, and and I like you say, but this I this is one of the reasons I actually scored it less than you because it is oh. a bit too repetitive, and I've heard it before. Of course, I didn't think about it like that. Once you open up the uh, the main area, the hub, whatever, you you get the song that you do recognize, but it's actually a bit upbeat remixed. Yeah, that is remixed a bit. So yeah, that's no, that. that's one part that I. Uh, enjoyed i did like that it's like i remember did you yeah you played the mario brother games right i always used i loved the 
one thing I fell in love with with the latest ones. You know, it was um, when you play the game and then all of them pop, pop, and the little turtles or the Koopas would do a little dance per the beat of the song. <laughs> yeah. I loved that. I thought that was genius. And I, I, I generally get upset that's not in other Mario games. I, d- I don't know why, I just found that little perk or quirk of the Mario games I just thought was brilliant. I used to I used to stop not jumping on enemies so they could do their little dance first, and then I'd kill them. <laughs> no, out of cursity, before you kill... You wouldn't, before you squash Out of them. respect, please yeah. dance before I kill you. <laughs> yeah, it does, it, now you say it that way, it sounds a bit... <laughs> dance for me. <laughs> but not a bit more sinister than I want to do. But no, I do miss that, and... Um, those little things I didn't find in this game. Those little yeah, ad- added no. audio cues for things just weren't there. And I guess I'm being a bit spoiled, like, you said, like we said before. When it comes to Mario and Nintendo, um, and th- when, it, when it comes to Mario and Nintendo, they don't hide these quirks anymore. No. That's they true, put yeah, it front uh, and center. Yeah. And a lot of people don't notice that it is front and center. Mm-hmm. But I've, I, I get what you're saying. That was kind of hidden and you yeah. discovered it as you played that's right and that was that was that was that was fun but like 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 i, I must admit with, with with regards to when i was grading this it's difficult because like you said being a 30 something year old man i'm not actually the main demographic for this game so the music isn't really designed for me so to speak so yeah it's it's one of those ones where you've got to think who's aimed at and for example young kids and stuff like that it's 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 lovely it's upbeat it's happy it's yeah, it is. cheerful it is. you know so so it does it does it, it does hit those notes properly so i guess i could be i could be kind of biased because i'm a grumpy old man and not a happy energetic kid <laughs> <laughs> but i mean you're a 30 year old something man when you were a kid you also had a uh, super mario games I and do, now yes, you've that's true. you've grown nostalgic to those mu- to oh, music yeah. of that and those the, sounds. The old old NES games, yeah, I, uh, I know those sounds. Nintendo well. knows this, yeah. No, a hundred percent. And they do they they do like they do sometimes in the games, like you say, put little mementos or references to the old games so that true. the older gamer can uh, enjoy them. It, well, I yeah. didn't see any in this one though. But then that makes sense. This is like this is a party mix, so it makes yes. more sense. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a mainline Mario. No, exactly. Yeah, feature title. All the movements and tricks inside gameplay. Anything that you do or need to take note of has an accompanying sound effect that that indicates whether well, this it's happening or whether it succeeded or failed or whatever. Yeah, correct. Yeah, and for each individual <coughs> character depending on who you're using at the time. Yeah, all in- yeah. The, on- the only move or trick or whatever that would take over gameplay would be a super. And that was only for a second, yeah. where you yeah, zoom in on the character. All other actions simply had a, like a, 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 a small animation and then a sound. Yeah, like a theme. Yeah. Like I say... And the- because, the- because of how our eyes work, we can't take in all the animations on, on the entire screen, we'd have to rely on sounds. That's true. I guess I, I haven't thought of it that way. I'm, I'm sounding a bit spoiled, but if you think how much effort they put into those individual sounds per action, there's actually quite a lot there that I may have missed because I was just looking at the game instead of listening to it. Yeah. Yeah. No, there are a lot of different sounds. and I. Now you picked up on that, yeah. I do appreciate um, that they take it as seriously as they do the animations and visuals yeah, of yeah, this yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I can see that. It's important. Yeah, no, it's interesting. No, I agree entirely. And it's it's only more apparent because I think I told you, uh, I don't know if I told you on the stream or not, a lot of the time I had to play my games without the sound on because people sleeping or I used to share a room and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah. So I, d- I never, I'm actually only just starting to appreciate sound effects, which is kind of strange to think I gave it such a poor score. <laughs> Because, and, and like I said, we said in Limbo, the sound was half of the game. And you're right, maybe I'm being mean to this, because there are individual character sounds and animation sounds, which I guess I listen to as a given. But if they weren't there, it'd be very a, hollow, a hollower experience. Um, but besides that, have you got anything else in audio? No, no, it's just a, it's a, it's your standard Mario affair. It was okay. So I think where any Nintendo or Mario game shines... 
would be the gameplay. Yes, that's where their their strengths generally lie, yeah. For sure, for sure. It's in the gameplay where not only Mario games, but all the party games or Mm -hmm. most Nintendo games, the gameplay is where they put in most of the effort because they know this is what makes a game purely fun. Yeah, you want that addictive fun nature of doing this or doing that. And they are generally good at doing that uh, to people. Yeah, Nintendo is some of the best in the business. Oh, uh, yeah, 100%. To make the gameplay loop as addictive as possible. Mm -hmm, Mm Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because they know that's gonna that's what that's what's gonna get you back. Yes, a hundred percent. No, that's 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 their, that's what their money maker right there. Yeah, you're right. For sports mix, I think the gameplay worked generally well for the most part. I enjoyed it, even though it relies heavily on motion controls. Yes, which which it's a they hit and miss uh, most of the time uh, with the Wii, uh, yeah, console. Yeah, yeah. Lit- literally figuring, uh, literally speaking, in some ways, it's like I. It's one of those things again where I think you've got to think who's. I, I, when I reviewed it, I've played it versus the AI, and this games is oh, sorry, these games are designed to be played with your family oh, yeah. or online yeah. and stuff like that. So, so you because of I'm just playing my my own. You, I think you lo- you lose a lot of the um, energy and the excitement and stuff like that that when playing with your friends when it's it's funny when they do this or funny when they do that or you got you and there's the the competitiveness. Uh, that you have with your friends compared to playing with the AI, um, I think that's what's missing, and that's why I didn't the gameplay wise. I think it lost points for me because I don't know if you played, but the AI was sometimes just useless. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I got that as well. Uh, even on hard, it was just so like they were so like. It's sometimes I was literally just waiting for them to, like, especially in um, dodgeball. I was just waiting seconds going by for them just to throw the ball. And then I could catch it. It was quite easy to catch it. But then I think that's why this, my review is is kind of slanted because these games are actually uh, advertised as a group, um, uh, uh, a group game. For to sure, play. for sure. And the, the, the definition of it being a party game. Yeah, hundred percent. And so me playing it without a party which makes me, makes me sound quite sad like i've just been me in my room on my own saying yes mario be my friend um <laughs> but uh it, it, i think it, it takes a lot of it i can imagine it would be a lot more fun and gameplay would be a lot especially like gameplay for playing with your your, your kids your son or daughter and it, it being easier for them to get involved as well actually gives them more accessibility so it builds more fun for them because i thought some of the controls were a bit too simple you know, it really was a case of just waggling and pressing a button. And But then again, for, for little kids and teenagers and stuff, that's perfect. It is, definitely. So my my, sco- my, my scores are from a, a 30-year-old <laughs> point of view. Whereas if it were for a kid, I can imagine this whole gameplay is actually pretty spot on. When you say the controls were... Uh, 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 what, what did you say? They were simple. Did you check out the advanced controls for each game? I did a bit. I found... The um, like I said, my I don't know if it's my my Wii or my Wii controller. Maybe it wasn't that responsive, but I, I got frustrated with them because I was doing what they showed me to do, and then it wouldn't it wouldn't say I was uh. performing the trick, and so that kind of wound me up. Now I go on did my my Wii is ancient, and I had to get it out of the loft and stuff like that, so it could be defective. I, I'll put that. Forward. I see. Um, but just like some of the some of the games. You know, take into account a Wii, a Wii game, you're supposed to stand up and do movements. I did, like, most other Wii games. I just sat down on the sofa and just waggled my hand around. <laughs> Same. But, <laughs> you know, weirdly... Yeah, in, it, in, everybody does it. <laughs> weirdly, in my case, all the, the controls, the inputs that they had me make for mm-hmm. these moves, in my case, all of them worked. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So I didn't have uh, many problems with the gameplay. In my opinion, it was actually very good. The biggest letdown was the AI, like from a long, long point. It really was. The AI was just, there was, but I did, I must admit, um, this, I I was supposed to bring this up earlier. Um, The bad guy, the very last, uh, the monsters you take on. Did you get there? No. What? Why does this always happen? (laughs) Why does this always happen? (laughs) Did you not get there? You actually unlock... Now, you, this might not mean much to you, but you play against uh, a ninja, a white mage, a black mage, a cactus tar, and a moogle. Those are all characters from, yes, Final, those Fantasy are Final Fantasy Fantasy characters. 
like original Final Fantasy characters. Original Final Fantasy characters. You play against them as uh, uh, the volleyball games and such like that. And after that, you take on a big monster called a behemoth, which is also a staple what? of Final now, Fantasy. It comes games. full circle because Square Enix is involved. Oh, exactly. That's, that man. was the fun part. Now, granted, because I recognized them straight away, that did put a smile on my face. And, you know, That's it was the only good. part where you actually. Had, you had, it changed the mechanics <clears throat> of the games to, to attack a monster. You had to use um, the mechanics from volleyball, dodgeball, hockey, and well, I can't remember the other one. Uh, basketball, volleyball, and basketball to defeat uh, the behemoth. No, which was that quite is fun. So cool, quite easy, but quite fun. Yeah, that was fun. And being a Final Fantasy person, of course, it was. An I mean, I level can't of. score the gameplay even higher, but if I would, I could because that's <laughs> yeah, you so would. Yeah, that's true. Cool. I didn't even notice that. That was cool. I did enjoy that. Like I said, that was uh, probably my the best part of wow. it for me. Now, now I'm going. To, I'm going. I'm going to go back to that game. I'm going to go play it again because that. No, you should. It's like after you complete one of the cups or something. I can't remember where exactly. Like I said, the the menus were all quite generic menus. But once you get there, you actually you get to take on. That was cool. I enjoyed that because I'm a big Final Fantasy person. So, that was a bit biased way, but it was cool. I can't stop thinking of that now. I'm just playing dodgeball against the behemoth. <laughs> just this huge monster. Yeah, no, I it think, is. I think, if, <laughs> I think it might be time to put down the volleyball and run away. Yes. It's, it, we're, not, we're not talking... But, it, but I'll give it credit. It's got... Um, you played Kingdom Hearts. You know the Kingdom Hearts? The franchise? I know of it, but I haven't played it's it. Dis, it's like Disney, yes, uh, Disney. Disney combined with Final yes. Fantasy. So the behemoth was very cartoony and kind of like... Kind of like Disney esque. Oh, I see. Okay. So, so, and like I said, we're not talking like Elden Squ- uh, Elden Ring uh, levels of like dodging and getting out of the way. It was fairly simple, but it was fun. I'm glad the the gameplay for this game, for me at least, is uh, is is I scored this quite highly. This is this is fun. This is good. This is what I'm expecting from a Mario Nintendo game. Yeah, no, they definitely delivered on that. I don't, I, I don't disagree. Regarding the performance um, on the Wii, I don't think this was a Wii exclusive, right? Uh, yes, yeah, I believe so. Well, I guess it had to be because it had motion controls. Yeah, with the control schemes. Yeah, but it didn't get ported over to the Nintendo DS or anything like uh, that. Um, I don't. I think this ran quite well on the Wii. The Wii is a bit old now. It doesn't have HD functionality. Yeah, not even close. But it's one of those things, do you include performance to be the re- Wii Remote? So that's a bit harsh, I take it, because that's more the console than the game itself, or the console controllers than oh, the game Oh, wow, good itself. question. Because I found, I found a bit... Um, I guess it's the same problem with all Wii games. You swear you're pointing at one part, but your cursor goes to another yeah. bit, and you, you shout and you complain at it, but it's probably, it's probably because it's actually relatively antiquated um, technology now, and I'm too used to... Um, I'm spoilt with all the things we get to play with now. I found the controls to be frustration, frustrating, but that's because I've always found the Wii controls to be frustrating, unless you're using it as a I think pad. that's just that the difference between this and gameplay would be, is it a, a software issue or a hardware issue? And in this case, it's a hardware yeah, issue, true. so I'm, I'll argue yeah, it's I performance. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, no, I, I, okay, yeah, I do think it's a hardware issue. Mm-hmm. But um, apart from that, like anything else, like most Wii games, like we discussed with uh, PlayStation 1 games, it works within its, its hardware yeah. inside it, and it does the job quite well. Yeah. Besides, when the motion controls don't work, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there was no other real um, problems. I really couldn't see anything. The other else. big point of conversation for a game like this would be its value for money. It's got one no, no very good point and one very bad point. The, I'd say the very bad point is it being a Nintendo game still is being charged full price. Yeah, well, that, that's yeah Nintendo for you. But yeah, I agree. It's that's the it's what well, it's really. eleven years ago for a console that's been yeah uh, discontinued for a very long time. You can't charge full price yeah, for this game. Not supported at all, is it? <clears throat> no, no, no. And it's 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 not. Re- it wasn't really worth full price no. when it released. It's fun. It's fun when you got your friends around, fun when you got your kids and stuff. But if those criteria don't really come into play, you're not going to get it out because you need to play another round of dodgeball <laughs> on your own. No, 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 <laughs> no. That's, it's just not going to to scratch that itch but for you. On the other side of the coin, uh, the very, very, very good point of this game is, ah, uh, 
it's a party game. One console and one copy of this game. You oh, can, that's true. That's true. That's one thing you forget. Yeah, you that's can true, play. Yeah. Four different people can play mm. at once. Yeah, that's true. And it's one thing we forget because of the like the one one the one disc and one console thing where it sounds like a, a simple thing to mention. It was actually, a back in the day with Xbox stuff, a real big problem. Every time you wanted to play with your friends or you had to, hell, with the Xbox, you used to be able to link them yeah. up, I think, the, the the original Xbox. You had to get two copies of the game and it was Oof. so, it was such a money yeah. pit. But it's true, I forgot about that. The ability that, the fact that you can have one console, one game and four people to play, it can only be seen as a plus. That's true. It's one of the greatest things about the Wii, isn't it? But that it, makes really? it difficult because we've got ex an extreme bad point and then an extreme good point for this game. Yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> That's true, and that's I guess that's why we roughly we, we almost gave it the yes. same. Yes, 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 we almost point. did. So, so we came to the the same. But no, it's a good two. It's a good two points. It depends, depends which side you lean. But yeah, it's a good. It's an interesting point that the Wii really did make it accessible for groups of people to play together. And I don't think there's apart from multiplayer, there's not anything else that gets you all in one room. So for Mario Sports Mix, we gave it a letter grade rating of B minus. Which is the hot second highest score we've it had is. on our game it so is. far. So, it's, so that's that's second place, which isn't bad, no, really. No, not at all. So I far. think this was, I think this was excellent. I enjoyed Mario Sports Sports Mix quite a lot. Yeah, and if you have got that niche, if you have got kids that you want to uh, get into the age where you really do want to start playing with them, so you can do like a, a, a mummy daughter or father son scenario, this is the perfect type of game to pick up, and genuinely enjoy together as an adult you're not gonna get bored because it's too silly or too slow you could genuinely both have fun and i think that's a that's a fun aspect to have to a game especially as Definitely. a parent like yourself it's a fun an excellent gateway to, to start Definitely. playing just together. don't buy it at full price <laughs> <laughs> yeah please don't buy it at full price yeah just don't don't do it other than that we're good <laughs> that was mario sports mix a game i enjoyed quite a lot next week please join us for we are going to be looking at Bad Boys Miami Takedown for the PS2. The yeah, didn't even know that game the existed. Coolest so game be, <laughs> ever fun. made. It's so uh, yeah, cool. I enjoyed the movie, but it has it. But is it going to be full full for the same thing every movie game does? Is it going to be useless? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out next week. Every movie game except for I don't know what was it. There was one that... Oh, let's say Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh, that wasn't bad for a tie-in no, movie game. But but but, uh, but nearly every other game is useless. But is it as cool as Bad Boys Miami Takedown? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm I, putting on my sunglasses. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> let's hope there's lots of Jerry Bruckheimer slow motion movements <laughs> and big explosions. Yeah, cool guys don't look at explosions. Well, no, we just Because walk they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> right anyway that's for everybody to enjoy <laughs> next week you could uh, hit me up on twitter you could follow me at at it's time for nick um uh, if you follow david he's gonna roundhouse kick you <laughs> yeah each week i'll do something <laughs> new to you so it's kind of getting exciting Ooh. now you never know how how mad i'll yeah, get next. yeah he's gonna uh he's gonna plant you with a bomb and then turn around and not look at you explode because he's a cool guy that's it. And slow mo, just walk off, put his shades on. Exactly. He's a bad boy. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's it, ladies and gents. But remember to subscribe oh, and yes, please say it. Tell your parents. Oh yes. Oh, that's the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thanks. Thanks so much, everyone. Uh, see you next week. Yeah, Cheers. See you next week. Cheers.